Hi everyone, let's continue on with some information about the standard bar tool description. Uh, it's important that you know each of these tools um, and when and how to use them. Certainly, make sure you get familiar with each of these tools. Let's start up here on the very top left. Uh, this is your new icon. Uh, very simply, you use this to create a new design. To the right of that, you have your open icon. You use this to open an existing document. The next one to the right of that is your save icon. You use this to save the design you're working on. To the right of that, you have your print preview icon. You use this to view your design in the print preview window. The next icon is to send the design to a machine through one of the card boxes available in the industry. To the right of that is your cut icon. You use this to cut an element out of a design. This is your copy. You use this indeed to copy an element in a design. The next one is your paste icon. You use this to paste a copied element in a design. Next is your undo icon. Certainly use this to undo the last action made. Use the next one, which is your redo. You use this to redo the previously undone action. Next is your zoom box. By clicking on the downer of your zoom box, you use this to zoom in and out full page. Um, one to one, 10 percent, a variety of percentages that you can zoom into automatically. Uh, next is your start stop icon. You use this to create the start stop points in a design. Next is your auto lock. You use this to turn on or off the auto lock stitch feature. Next to that, a very, very important icon. This is your how-to video tutorials. By left-clicking on it, it will link you to the site to all our new how-to video tutorials that continually come out regarding the software. Next is your about icon. You use this to display the program information, version number, and copyright. Next, we're going to go into uh, a list of our or the icons concerning um, the actual stitches within Floriani uh, Total Control. This is your manual stitch. You use this to input a manual stitch path. Next is your run stitch. You use this to input a run stitch path. We have three different types of satin stitches. The first one is an input satin path. Uh, the next one is a classic satin stitch. The classic satin stitch is to use to input a satin stitch path using the classic point counterpoint technique. Next is the steel stitch. Steel stitch to input a steel stitch path. Steel stitches are a satin stitch indeed, uh, just with a very balanced width. It is a continuous width throughout the entire structure. Uh, you can do an awful lot more with this. In fact, certainly, folks, as we go through this, this is a quick explanation. We will explore every one of these stitches uh, at great detail as we move through the videos. Next is your complex fill stitch icon. You use to input a complex fill stitch path. Next to that is your applique icon. You use this to input an applique stitch path. To the right of that is your cross stitch tool. You use this to input a cross stitch path. Then we go into some of the new features within Total Control, the tackle twill tool. You use this to create a tackle twill zigzag stitch. Next is your sequin run. You use this to create a sequin run stitch. We then offer now a sequin fill tool, certainly to create a sequin fill stitch. To the right of that is your chenille tool you use to, connect, excuse me, to create a chenille run stitch. To the right of that is your chenille fill tool you use this to create a chenille fill stitch. To the right of that is your artwork tool you use this to input some simple artwork that you can create using a pen, a rectangle, or an ellipse. To the right of that is your symbol icon you use this to input a pre-digitized symbol located within the software itself. Next to that is your magic wand tool, uh, an amazing tool used to access the segmented auto digitizing aspect of Floriani Total Control. Uh, and again, this will auto digitize elements by segmenting them from the image. Over here to the far left, down below uh, at the bottom here, right here where I am on the top left, this is your text tool. You use this tool to create text in your design. Next is your monogram tool. You use this to create monogram text in your design. The software comes with an entire series of text designs. You use this to add those pre-digitized text designs into your project. You also get a series of monogram design borders that you can utilize with your project. The next icon is your auto-digitizing icon. You use this to create auto-digitized designs from start to finish. To the right of that are your motif shapes. You use this to input motif, shape, motif shapes into your project. 
To the right of that is your applique shapes. You use this to input applique shapes into your project. A couple of fabulous new features into the software is your optimized, excuse me, optimized sequence. You use this to optimize the order in which selected items run out. Next to that is your optimize entry exit. You use this to automatically optimize the start and end points of a selected, selected object to the closest point connection to the next object. Another great new feature is our auto base feature. You use this to automatically create a base stitch around a design. You then have your duplicate icon to duplicate a selected uh, object in a design. Next to that is your repeat icon. You use this to open the repeat window and create a repeating pattern of the selected object in the design. We now offer a circle template used to create a circular pattern for a selected object in the design. Then there is your flip horizontal used to horizontally flip a selected object in the design. Next to that is your flip vertical, certainly used to vertically flip a selected object. You can then rotate left the entire design you can rotate right then the design next to that is your left align you use this to align multiple selected objects in a design to the left use this next one the right align used to align multiple selected objects in a design to the right you also have a top align and a bottom align next to the bottom align you have your horizontal center align you use this to align multiple selected objects center hor centered horizontally you also have the same feature, but now it is a vertical center align used to align multiple selected objects centered vertically. You next to that have your trim. You use this tool to trim the overlap between two selected objects in a design. We now offer a weld feature. You use this tool to combine two selected objects into one object in a design. You can also now intersect. You use this tool to keep only the area where two objects overlap, deleting the area where they do not overlap. You can also now distribute horizontally. You use this to place the same distance between multiple selected objects in a horizontal row. The next one is your distribute vertical. You use this to place the same distance between multiple selected objects in a vertical row. You can also now group. The group feature or the group icon is used to group multiple selected objects in a design. You can also now ungroup. Ungroup uses to un you use this to ungroup grouped objects in a design. You can now move to the front. You use this to move an object all the way to the beginning of the design. Or you can certainly move to back. You can use this to move an object all the way to the end of the design. Certainly now you can also join selected paths. You use this to, to join selected paths into one path. And you can break up selected paths using them to break apart combined paths with any given part of the design. Absolutely some incredible new features in this area in the software. I'm very, very excited about this. Again, we will be going through many, many of these in, in complete and further more detail as we continue on with the videos. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move on next with a, a further explanation of some of the other areas. Um, talking about the sequence view, property box description, and so on. Uh, see you soon.